Hello, summoners. Welcome to the new season, which brings a host of changes. Let's explore the new items together. Glowing Moat. This item will be the start for many items. Now let's move on to AP items, beginning with my favorite one. Storm Surge. Ability power, magic penetration, movement speed. Its passive triggers when you deal 35% of a champion's health in 2.5 seconds, giving you 25% movement speed. A Thunderbolt will hit the enemy after 2 seconds. But if the enemy dies before 2 seconds, it will do AoE damage over a large area. This is good for AP assassins like LeBlanc or Fizz. Ludin's Companion. Ability Power, Mana, and Ability Haste. Its passive lets you gain a shot charge every 3 seconds, up to 6 max. Hitting an enemy consumes all shot charges and does magic damage to nearby enemies. But if no enemies are nearby, it repeats all 6 shots on the enemy dealing 35% damage. Crypt Bloom, its passive called Life from Death, triggers if an enemy dies within 3 seconds of damaging them. It heals you and all allies in a large area. This is a great item for support mages who want dealing huge damage with 30% magic penetration plus healing for every takedown. Malignance. Ability Power, Mana, and Ability Haste. Its passive gives you 20 cooldown reduction to your ultimate, plus damaging a champion with your ultimate burns the ground, dealing damage and reducing magic resist. This is great with champions like Victor or Anivia. Dawn Core, Ability Power, Ability Haste, Base Mana Regan. Its passive increases heal and shield power and gives 5 AP per 100%. Base Mana Regan and 18 Summoner Spell Cooldown. This is a great item for support mages, dealing more damage with high Mana Regan, which makes them formidable in lane harassment. Finally, AP champions get crit damage. Shadow Flame now allows your magic damage and true damage to crit, but with a condition. The enemy must be below 35% health. When this condition is met, a crit hit will do 20% more damage. This is a significant improvement for AP champions. Now let's move on to the AD items. First one, called Opportunity, provides attack damage, lethality, and movement speed. Its passive increases your lethality when out of combat for 3 seconds after hitting the enemy, and if the enemy dies within 3 seconds of damaging them, you gain 150 movement speed decaying for 1.5 seconds. So, you can assassinate the enemy and make a quick escape. Voltaic Cyclosword. I'm not sure if I'm spelling these names correctly. Whatever. Attack damage, lethality, and ability haste. Its passive grants energized charges when moving. If you're playing with champion's dashes or going stealth, it stacks 75% faster. Plus, the energized hit will slow the enemy by 99% for 0.75 seconds. With a champion like Vayne, the enemy will never escape. Experimental Hexplate. Attack damage, attack speed, and health. It grants 30 cooldown reduction for your ultimate, which is significant. After casting your ultimate, it gives you 35% attack speed and 15% move speed for 8 seconds. This item seems to be specially created for Jax and will be a main item in any Jax builds. The next item will revolutionize ADCs in team fights it called Terminus. This item provides attack damage and attack speed, plus 30 magic damage on hit. Its unique passive switches between light and dark for each attack. Light attacks grant you 3 armor and magic resist up to 15 times for 5 seconds, meaning you can have up to 45 armor and magic resist in longer fights. The dark attacks grant you 6% armor and magic penetration up to 30%. This gives you good defense and very high damage. It's as if you have an additional item with 45 armor and magic resist, plus 30% armor and magic penetration. Wow! Introducing another peculiar item. Hubris. Attack damage lethality, and ability haste. Its passive, called Ego, creates a statue of yourself in your base when you kill an enemy. If an enemy dies within 3 seconds of damaging them, you gain 10 plus 1 per statue attack damage for 60 seconds. Let's welcome the new Hydra, called Profane Hydra. Attack damage, lethality, and ability haste. 
It has an AoE damage passive and active. The active deals more damage plus bonus damage to enemies below 30% health. Titanic Hydra is now an active item that requires a button press to activate. We've discovered that it cancels the basic attack animation, allowing you to hit the enemy with two quick basic attacks. Observe how powerful it is with Jin. You can hit with the third and fourth bullets in quick succession without any delay. Plus, it has a short cooldown of just 10 seconds. Summoners, if you'd like us to create a video about the OP builds with the new season items, please let us know by hitting the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Now let's get back to the items. Sundered Sky, Attack Damage, Health, and Ability Haste. Its passive marks an enemy, and your first basic attack crits for 150% and heals. It's a good heal and only has a 6 second cooldown. It's time to say goodbye to Divine Sunderer and welcome Sundered Sky. However, it does not work with ranged champions as of the last update. There are new starting items. Rectrix, AD and Movement Speed. Tunneler, AD and Health. Steel Sigil, AD and Armor. The Brutalizer, AD, Ability Haste, and Lethality. Finally, the Magic Resist version of Sunfire Cape. Hollow Radiance. It provides Health, Magic Resist, and Base Health Region. Its passive is the same as Sunfire Cape, but with a new feature. When you kill an enemy, it deals magic damage in an area. Trailblazer. This item provides health, armor, and movement speed. While moving, you gain 20 move speed, and at max speed, the trail behind you gives speed to your allies. Your next attack, if you are a melee champion, slows the enemy for one second. Kainik Raukern. This item will be very strong against AP champions. It provides a good shield and 80 magic resist every 12 seconds when not taking magic damage. It also provides health and base health regen. Unending Despair. Health, armor, and ability haste. Its passive gives great sustain. Every 7 seconds in combat, it deals magic damage to nearby enemies and heals for 250% of the damage. This effect only applies to enemy champions. For the support role, there have been significant changes in the items that you can acquire by completing quests. This adds more variety and caters to all kinds of support champions, including unconventional ones like Pantheon or Set. These changes aim to enhance gameplay and offer more strategic options. World Atlas. This is the starting point for all new support items. Your quest is to collect 500 gold, which you can earn by damaging enemy champions or buildings, and killing any minion gives you an additional 20 gold, and your allies' kills also contribute to your gold. It's easy to accumulate those 500 gold. Once you've collected 500 gold, the item transforms into the Runic Compass. Your new quest is to collect 1,000 gold. But here's the new feature damaging an enemy champion or building will now give you 3,400% gold. After you collect 1,000 gold, you can choose between several items. First one is called Zazax Realm Spike. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Each of these five items provides 5 gold per second, base health and mana regen, and health. Its passive ability triggers a void explosion that deals additional magic damage when you damage enemy champions. This could be an excellent choice for aggressive AP support champions. Celestial Opposition. This item gives you a substantial shield. If you get hit, the shield explodes after 2 seconds, slowing all enemies for 1.5 seconds. The shield refreshes after not taking damage for 20 seconds. Bloodsong. This item could be a great choice for Pantheon support, for example. Its passive ability increases the damage of your next attack after using an ability and makes the enemy take more damage for 6 seconds, 12% for melee, and 8% for ranged champions. Solstice Slay. This item is good for CC healer champions like Nami and Soraka. Its passive ability triggers when you slow or immobilize an enemy. Stun, snare, knock up, knock back, suppress, giving you and your ally a heal and 90 movement speed for 4 seconds. The cooldown of this item is only 20 seconds. Now, let's talk about the strangest support item, named Dream Maker, and it really does. 
Its passive ability allows you to hold blue and purple bubbles when healing or shielding an ally. You give him the two bubbles, the blue bubble gives them a good shield, and the purple one adds 90 magic damage to their next hit. Summoners, you may not realize the amount of effort we've put into this video. We assure you that pressing the subscribe button will be a decision you won't regret. Want to wish you all a happy new year? May all your days be filled with joy. Goodbye for now, summoners.